Behold the Cimarron of the Equinox. Just kidding. Maybe. The X-T4 is a compact crossover in Cadillac's X-T or crossover touring series and is based on the Chevrolet Equinox and GMC terrain. It follows Cadillac's new naming scheme as if it weren't confusing enough when Lincoln did it just a few years ago. Except for the Chinese market, Cadillac X-T4s are produced at the Fairfax Assembly Plant in Kansas City, Missouri, the latter in Shanghai at the SAIC GM plant. Alright, on my first driving impression, I'm actually going to say it. This thing is quick. Um, it doesn't look like it here, but I'm not actually putting a lot into it. But this vehicle responds very, very nicely. The steering feedback is excellent, I think. And I think the shifts are a little bit lazy for this kind of segment. But man, this thing is quiet. Offered in three trim levels, luxury, premium luxury, or sport, our stellar black metallic test car is the sport trim and features jet black leatherette interior with cinnamon accent stitching and 22 premium carbon fiber trim. A glance at the left shows pricing and full options lists are available in the description box below. Competing in a very crowded market segment, the X-T4 is Cadillac's take on a sporty crossover that melds luxury and sport. Although from my experience with the car, it's more luxury than sport, but that's okay. Our vehicle is all-wheel drive with full-time automatic all-wheel drive system that is front biased and works in conjunction with drive mode selectors with three modes, tour, all-wheel drive, and sport, the latter tightening the steering feel and raises the shift points with different shift logic. Shift changes remain the same and there is no rev match downshift as it's lackadaisical at best. Power in our XT4 comes from the 2 liter turbocharged intercooled dual overhead cam 16 valve inline 4 cylinder engine. It is of aluminum block and head construction with dual scroll turbo and electronic wastegates. This engine is loaded with tech including variable valve timing with 3 cam low profiles and a no lift profile for 2 cylinders during cylinder deactivation. This engine creates 237 horsepower at 5000 rpm, 258 pound feet of torque at 1500 rpm. Car and driver tested their XT4 Sport all wheel drive in September of 2018 and recorded 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.5 seconds. 0 to 100 miles per hour in 18.8 seconds. The quarter mile was reached in 15.8 seconds at 89.4 miles per hour with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The XT features a 16.3 US gallon fuel capacity and consumes 4.2 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 391 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 22 miles per hour city, 29 miles per hour highway, and 24 miles per hour combined. On my 20 mile mixed driving test, I averaged 22.8 miles per gallon with the best of 32.7 miles per gallon. The sole available transmission is a 9 speed Hydromatic 9T50 automatic with manual shift capability via steering wheel mounted paddles and what Cadillac calls electronic precision shift. Around the rear, Cadillac is really proud of the styling, saying the tail lamp lenses are tinted in a neutral density that mirror the style of the headlamps, but slice through the air with a tight blade silhouette that's stylish and unmistakably Cadillac. That being said, the rear styling is pretty sporty and I do like the all LED lighting, which both looks great and is good for safety and visibility. The black paint does this vehicle favors for sure. True to sport fashion, we also have dual exhaust outlets. Alright, and walking along the profile, the X-T4 with the short front and rear overhangs looks sporty and somewhat aggressive. Our X-T4 sits on a 109.4 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 181.4 inches. Steering is electrically assisted variable rate, vehicle speed sensitive rack and pinion with 2.4 turns lock to lock and a 38 foot turning radius. Wheels are the fantastic looking 20 inch twin 5 spoke diamond cut design with tight and satin finish. 
Tires are low profile P245 45R20 Continental Pro Contact TXs front and rear. Brakes, of course, are four wheel disc brakes assisted by ABS, Stabilitrack, Intelligent Brake Control, Pedestrian Detection Braking, and Auto Drive Function. These brakes can halt the XT4 from 60 miles per hour to zero in 126 feet. Up front, we see the familiar face of Cadillac with the blade design headlamps and mesh grille. I only wish this had a monochromatic package available. In any event, headlamps are xenon, high intensity discharge projector beam headlamps set in black bezels behind tinted lenses. Daytime running lights and turn indicators are LED and distinctive light pipes that look really good in my opinion. Across the front, unique to the sport trim is a gloss black mesh grille trimmed in galvano accents with the Cadillac crest front and center. Truth be told, I didn't want to like the X-T4, but I do. Cadillac's so well insulated their interior from engine noise that you almost have to look down at the tachometer to see if your engine is actually running while this thing is moving. Uh, bumps are absorbed very, very nicely. Uh, the ride is extremely smooth. And the X-T4 is equipped with remote start. To operate is simple, just lock the vehicle and press and hold the remote start button. All right, we do have smart key access via the key fob. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you can lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To do this is very simple. You locate the chrome button on the door handle. One press, it'll lock, as you can see here, press that button again, and the door will unlock. And inside we have a very nicely crafted interior. It's very, very elegant looking, very sporty, high quality materials, real nice tight leather. As you can see here on the doors, we do have soft touch vinyl that looks like leather with cinnamon accent stitching, that 22 carbon fiber trim inside. We've got satin silver or satin aluminum trim, two driver memory with easy exit feature, power door locks, power heated mirrors with power fold away, and of course power windows. You have an adjustable opening tailgate, which is a nice feature, and that center part is a button to open the tailgate. Satin stainless steel tread plates, eight way power driver and passenger seat with adjustable lumbar support aluminum frame pedals, electronic parking brake and your instrument panel dim, carbon fiber trim on the steering wheel, a heated leather wrap tilt and telescoping steering column, and taking a look at the seats, the seats are very very comfortable, they're very nicely detailed with the Cadillac crest or wreath in it, or the Cadillac V, never, or rather, accent stitching. This vehicle does not have the perforated inserts however. All right, we're panning through the interior now, show more details. As you can see here, nice fluid electrically assisted power steering. I do like the perforated leather inserts on the steering wheel. It is a multifunction wheel, three spoke design with satin silver trim. Over here, you have your cruise control, heated steering wheel control, forward collision warning and Bluetooth controls. And on the right, we have our trip computer controls, audio controls. Nice, clear, easy to read gauges. And using the buttons on the left or right side of the steering wheel controls our trip computer. It's just a simple 4.2 inch full color LCD display screen. It pretty much shows anything you'd ever want to know. All kinds of different information regarding the radio, inf uh, vehicle information, settings, fuel mileage, anything like that. You can also see that the gauges are very clear and easy to read. Almost Audi like in their quality. All right, moving over the top of the dash, you can see here, this little square here is the heads up display for the forward collision warning system. Soft vinyl trim on the dashboard with the cinnamon accents give it a very nice upscale look and it also houses upper um, climate control vents. Down below we have the eight inch Cadillac Q touchscreen system. Very crisp, clear, easy to read graphics. Does house climate controls and you've also got uh, climate control hard switches down at the bottom on the bottom strip, which is a nice touch. 
This system is very responsive. It does feature Apple CarPlay, Google Android Auto, and it also features GPS navigation. We've also got 4, 4G LTE Wi-Fi connectivity as well. Place in your X-T4 in reverse does display reverse camera with active guidance lines. I do like the climate control strips at the bottom. It just makes it nice if you don't have your screen. You do have heated seat controls, parking sensor power switch, your four-way flashers, and your uh, lane departure warning. Inside this covered storage panel is a SD card slot, a USB ports, and a 12-volt power point. Multifunction control here that controls your screen as a secondary control input. Volume and seek and scan. You've also got your navigation hot, hot button. Turning and clicking this wheel will actually navigate through several of the menus on the screen. You can also push to enter. Just makes it really easy if you don't have to reach and touch the screen. You can just reach down and use the wheel to control your screen without taking your eyes off the road. Here we have our traction control, auto start, stop, and things of that nature. Nice large covered storage bin with the cinnamon accent stitching continue. Overall, I really like the interior of the X-T4. I think it's a really, really nice, well-built interior, very comfortable. Overhead, we have an automatic dimming rear view mirror, which is frameless in design, looks really, really good. OnStar controls and your passenger airbags off indicator, LED overhead map lights, and your panoramic sunroof controls. As you can see here, of course, the panorama sunroof extends all the way to the rear seats. A very nice wide opening glass panel lets in a lot of light. It is also ultraviolet t or solar tinted for you have three channel home link universal garage door opener and sunglasses holder. All right, and both visors are LED illuminated with progressive progressive LED illumination. They also swing out and slide out on extension rails. And we also have dampened overhead assist handles. All right, I'm getting this thing on the interstate now. We're going on an entrance ramp and it's accelerating to 60 pretty quickly for a vehicle uh, that weighs as much as what this does. Uh, it seems to be working kind of hard, but I think the transmission is a little lazy. But here we are on the interstate and we're going just under 70 miles an hour and I cannot believe how smooth this this vehicle is you would never know that this was based on Equinox or even a GMC train um, this is absolutely a fantastic riding automobile I would take this on long journeys any day all right let's take a look inside the rear seat the rear seat passenger compartment features the same styling as the front seats have the same soft touch vinyl, cinnamon accent stitching, carbon fiber trim, satin silver accents. The rear seats do seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with high adjustable head restraints on the outboard seats. You do have a fold down center armrest with integrated cup holders. You've also got overhead reading lights, overhead grab handles, rear seat climate vents, outboard heated seat controls, and two USB ports, a USB Type 2 and a USB Type C. Of course, the seatbacks do feature seatback map pockets. And lowering the seats is very, very easy in this vehicle. Just lower the head restraint and, pre and pull this handle out, and the seatback will fold down. It is a nice load flat floor that the seat creates. And the seat belts stay out of the way so they don't get pinched, which is really nice.
All right, and there are several ways to open the luggage area. You can press the button in the driver's side door panel. Underneath the Cadillac crest, right about in the middle, there's a membrane switch next to the camera module that you can press that to open it. Or you can double press the key fob. I also believe this vehicle is equipped with the kick your foot under the bumper and open the hatch feature, but it was pouring rain and I didn't really have time to set up my tripod for that. But as you can see here, it's a very nice clean cargo area. With the privacy cover removed, it's a very nice area. As you can see, we have tie-down hooks, LED illumination, 12 volt power points. With our rear seats up, we have 22.5 cubic feet of storage. With our rear seats folded, we have 48.9 cubic feet of storage. And underneath the floor mat, we do have our compact spare tire with jack and tools. Closing the lift gate is very easy. There is a membrane switch in the lift gate trim panel. Just press that and the hatch will close on its own. In the very end, I agree with Car and Driver, who said, Cadillac continues to bifurcate its lineup into sporty sedans and milk toast crossovers. While I do in fact like the X-T4, I don't seem to see a lot of them on the road, and it makes me wonder if it's fallen victim to an overcrowded segment. Cimarron by Cadillac, anyone? And this does conclude our review of the X-T4. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And of course, check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and Instagram at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.